Okay, welcome guys to another tutorial for Sustan Designer. This time we're gonna create this pipe road for you in Substance for use in game engine. Uh, it's very uh, uh, basic, um, very small. The graphs, as you see, you can enhance uh, once you learn how to make this. You can make a more complex change. Also, I give you the source files in the description video, so you can download, study, and make a better, uh, better result. This is basic, and we're gonna see how create this. Okay, let's get started. But first, we're gonna see how create the stone shapes. First, we're gonna use the polygon two node with five uh, sides. And the curve is 0 0.22. The polygon two, you the default bring uh, three sides. You you have to change that value here uh, like this, and you have this this uh, this shape. The curve, as uh, I said. 0 0.22 and we have this this basic shape now next you you use safe transform grayscale this is allows to offset and rotate a grayscale safely without distortion to achieve this pattern here you can rotate like this Okay, and apply the offset as you wish. This is a, a suggestion. It, uh, at the end, you can make the shape as you wish by tweaking these values. Offset X and offset AY. Okay, uh, next we're going to blend the basic shape and the before node in the blend mode subtract to have the first uh, basic shape of rock then you apply those uh, nodes uh, but the basic shape, the first shape of the polygon you change the number of the sides to have a different uh, pattern and also you can uh, apply different uh, transformation at the end you have to you must have two different rocks and after you blend those two different rocks in subtract node in, in one blend to have a third pattern of rock also uh, the note uh, uh, us is you have to apply a blur HQ grayscale. This is make uh, less crispy or rock. This is crispy. You apply a blur HQ grayscale, and we have a smooth version of the rock. Also, the other shapes you have here apply the same note. And then you blend this in with the same note in multiply. And here we start to apply some noise to all rocks. You have uh, B and W spots too. You can uh, search here B and W spot too. You can use as you wish. Apply in multiply to apply uh, some noises in a rock and don't be flat or rock. Here's as you wish. You can put more or less noise to a rock. Okay. Uh, the same for the another rock. 
you apply uh, the the noise. I'm gonna change the resolution of my final texture for better see. For we can see better here in the 3D view. Here you can see how the all rocks have ya yeah, noise after uh, before. Uh, you then you apply a splatter note. Sorry, then you splat uh, a splatter note. Apply, and you can uh, uh, with this note you can generate generate this random noises pattern. Here you can select the the width and the height of our pattern. Uh, always uh, curve, uh, they have the same value for A and width to to avoid distortion. Okay, I'm gonna set in 100. This is uh, in this in this stage you can tweak as you wish those values. You can zoom in, zoom out. To have a result as you need. Okay. Basically, this node allows us to generate random patterns with one input uh, map. And apply this and apply a different values to have two random patterns and in one pattern you apply a values node to to put more light in your rocks and then you blend these two nodes in one blend node in max lighting mode okay yeah, and the opacity with the for a ground color. If you don't apply the opacity or rocks uh, overlapping and in an ugly way. Okay? Uh, better apply opacity and we have a final pattern of rocks. Uh, then you apply a tele generator to make a or texture tilling in a better way. Apply here, and here you just have to search this pattern type. A set in image input, and we're gonna set the number X and A as you wish. I set a two by two. Okay, this is our time generator. This is uh, our final stage, and then we apply a values a levels node uh, to apply our color. We're gonna see this in just a moment, but that is all for the rocks pattern. Then we're gonna create a ground. We're gonna use a VR wine spot tree. Uh, then we are apply a histogram range. This is allows us to uh, in our when we generate our normal map. It allows us to rise or down or or noisy background. Uh, see, we wanna see how this work in our normal map. Here we have our normal map, and we wanna see how this work. If we move position, you can see how our background is still change up and down. Here we are lost. You can move the range, and this in this uh, moment it is not changing often. But the position is the important here. Here is our overflowed, 
and we use you have to adjust as you need always and how you want your texture looks here we have a value and we're gonna leave this and then we're gonna apply a levels node for the, the color we're gonna apply the color with this node we're gonna see this in just a moment and then we're gonna apply a, a blend node we're gonna blend or background color or background noise sorry background noise with a rock pattern and this we're gonna use as a normal map okay here is a normal map and we're gonna see how uh, apply the color we're gonna use a gradient map a gradient map if you are in the 3d view in this ambient imagine you just have to pick a gradient uh, we're gonna use two gradient colors and you just have to pick the gradient map like this pick gradient and you apply here and here you have a, a gradient of color as you need okay the same for the another and here you can have uh, the colors as you need for all texture okay is we want to use these levels we're going to connect for the noise and the other are the tiling okay we we have the, here we have the two colors you can apply an H is L node if you want to change the hue saturation or luminization you just have uh, apply this node and you can change those values as you wish okay the same for the another you apply uh, here I am desaturate uh, way more for the rocks to have a better uh, contrast blend in copy mode we're gonna use uh, another gradient map to have another variation of rocks this is how we use and this is another the levels the levels allow us to just pick some uh, rocks to apply another color you just have to adjust how much you can rocks you want uh, with different color and apply in another blend mode this mode is max light to better results and here we have our basic uh, color for our paved road and we just uh, apply a uh, black noise black uh, color sorry and white in uh, roughness roughness white because nothing is shine here is is ground and black to or metallic map because nothing is metallic here okay and this is how you can have this basic paved road always you can uh, make better results this is just for tutorial purpose I am gonna leave the source file in the description video so you can download and study and make better texture okay uh, this is all folks this is all for this tutorial I hope you like it please comment share and subscribe and we want to see in another substance designer tutorial video 
and see you later. Bye bye.